Gonna take you back to the past. To find out why Ellie sucks ass. Is there something here? Aw, oh, doggy. I don't... Ah, they're both dead. They both die in the same... Time, basically. I don't know if I know what happened to Manny. Alice gets shotgun. Mel's pregnant. You could use the fresh air. Give you two a chance to talk. Have you been sleeping these days? Not great. Do you want me to get you something from the pharmacy? Nah, I'm, I'm good. It's not a big deal. No, it's, it's fine. I'm just going to wear myself out. I've been picking up a few extra assignments. You wear though. What do you mean? Hey, Manny. Where are you headed? Two. Truck S24 headed to two. May your survival be long. May your day be sweet. Well, we lost a hatchery. Yeah. Can you plan on getting it back? No, Isaac says it's low priority. We're fishing up wild salmon right now. What did you mean about me and Owen? Um... I haven't seen him in like two weeks. He keeps picking up open assignments. Has he talked to you? Did, did he say anything? Or... No, we're still not. I mean, I, I've seen him in the mess hall, but we walk around each other. Jackson shot me. You know, I wouldn't read too much into it. Oh! It's very, very hard to acquire targets. Ah. Shit. She is way too pregnant for this. Why is she on this kind of mission? How far away from the fob? It's a hike. We're too exposed. Please get inside. I am so confused by her presence here. Interestingly, if we apply, like, the arc a Resident Evil game usually has, usually they start off really tense and horror-y and vulnerable, and then you get more powerful over time. 
And, and then the the usually like there's like the the opening area, like the police station or the Spencer's man, the Spencer estate. That's like more tense and horror-y. Then you get to like beyond that area, and that's when your power creep is going up a lot, and it get, becomes kind of a run and gun game. I'm kind of anticipating that. We have way more people and way better weapons. And I, I don't think I'm going to be as alone this time around. And that there might be a lot more action sequences. It might kind of feel like an Uncharted yes. game for a bit. There's enough stuff here to make a pie bomb. Copy that. Maybe we should have taken our chances outside. Nah. We got this. Enough stuff here to make a pipe bomb, huh? Oh, what? Oh. It's like, where the fuck is it? Ooh, she makes two at a time already. She also use a health kit because I'm half down. Yeah, one idea, some of the things that reinforce what I was saying is like, I have a better gun, I have allies, I have a dog. I can craft pipe bombs two at a time. And on my starting tree, I get to increase my health by 25% twice. This will be a change. Lots of places to hide in here. Stealth doggy. Did she listen? Yeah, right. We already saw upgrades for the listen thing on our tree. This isn't any kind of like magic Joel sense or anything. Does she use a knife? What's her style of takedown? Nope. Right. We saw this before when we played as her. God, it's so slow. Maybe it's the same speed, it feels it just feels a lot slower. Probably because of the knife, it, it, they don't, there's not just an immediate knife. I guess Ellie stabs them and then kind of like lets their body down slowly. Whereas in this, the execution comes late. Depot to our list of zombie locations. This is so much better than getting drunk and watching anime. What? Nothing. <laughs> Manny the anime watcher. Guys, look up there. See the light coming through? Could be a way out. I'll climb up there and check it out. Oh. I get caught off guard by how not reasonable a lot of jumps are in this game when I think they can totally be done. Then I try it and I'm like, oh, well, fuck me then. There's an axe. Here we go. No! Well, this is a path. Mm. 
Supplements let you learn new skills. I know, game. <laughs> you can tell me that I have enough, if that's what you mean. It's a weird time to explain to me how supplements work. I don't think you can pick the Abbey campaign first or anything. It's not post-patch Ada Wong. I don't know how I feel about that jump. I never really know how I feel about the jumps. My trust has been violated too many times on whether or not I think this will work out. Seems like the only path. Really? What happened to clear? Doggy! This is why we have dogs. No, no, no. Thank you. Oh, there's too many of them. That's clicker noises. Oh, that's a big one. That's bad. Oh, they're dead. Okay. Oh, shit. Shit. This is too much chaos. Oh, good one. Uh, there's too much to keep track of. Uh... Uh, that's all the- that's every bullet. Shit. Everybody good? Oh. Yeah. Running low now, Mojo. Can we say fuck this place? Yes. Fuck this place. We're getting out of here. That's too many reveals back to back for me. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, that woman you just killed? She was pregnant. And also she's voiced by Ashley Birch. <laughs> I'm like, god damn it. Now get now you get to hang out with her before she died. And she's gonna be voiced by Ashley Birch the whole time. Like, God damn it, stop it. <laughs> Twist that knife, huh? I think she's probably the most recognizable female voice actor in the industry for me. Just because I watched a bunch of her comedy videos before she was a voice actor. But then she was Aloy in Horizon Zero Dawn, and she was Chloe in Life is Strange, and whatever other thing that comes to mind. Tiny Tina in Borderlands. Whatever other recent thing that I played that she was in. <laughs> something else, there's something, I feel like there was a time I was explaining this in another context, but I can't remember what game that was. Oh yeah, duh. She plays Parvati in Outer Worlds. I have no ammo still, right? Yeah, that's not good. Brick time it is. The only guns I need are these two, am I right? <laughs> hey guys, I'm gonna die. I think I found a way out. Hardware store is not a place to find ammo. That, that chaos fight, like it, it was like being in those bloater fights where you just have to keep running. Just keep moving like you're playing Doom or something, so that the, the number of things you can't even parse that's trying to chase you can't quite catch you, and you've got to keep moving. 
and hope you can make it make it work out. It's just a bottle. There was like multiple clickers, a, t a ton of regulars, and then a bloater. I'm not finding more ammo either. It's just not working out that way. This is just where I was earlier. Ooh! Who cares if it's where I was earlier? Found more... Yeah. Actually, yeah. I probably should have found more of those, honestly. It's a hard... It's a hardware area. Sure, I fucked up and missed some. Because it's like that kind of place. Uh, a hammer's better. Maybe I'll leave it in somebody again. Oh yeah, it's it's hard to be satisfied with your own exploration of these places because they're so big. I feel like I'm doubling back and just looking where I already looked. And there's more stuff that I missed. Because I'm a fool. First. Another month and I wouldn't fit through here. Well, head apps. He said ladies first. <laughs> Those were the like loudest that. dog footprints ever. <laughs> Footsteps. Okay. Abby, this reminds me of your dad's greenhouse. Shouldn't. All these plants are alive. Damn. Good point. You know what? This is good. You two need a bonding moment. Shut, Shut up, up Manny. <laughs> Working already. Yeah, this is bound to be kind of, a kind of cool location. It's full of all these plants before it about broke, and then it just kind of took over everywhere. Yes, yes, yes. I feel like I should point out that, like, <laughs> Ellie and Abby keep breaking into refrigerators that have glass doors by breaking the door. But, like, they're generally supposed to be, like, Audi like customer facing devices you can just open them it's fine they're just like all the other drawers I'm opening everywhere else like they're not normally locked or anything their purpose is to be at a cash register like this and let you reach in and, and take things as like an impulse buy that's why they keep like sodas and stuff and candy there because it's all like impulse buy stuff so if you, can if you have to ask them to unlock it it doesn't do its job as a thing that you'd want to buy at the last second of the register because it's too much too much of a hassle. It's supposed to be as easy as possible. But here I am like a fucking lunatic just breaking them open with a hammer. I, I like to think that Abby and Ellie have just never tried to open them. Like they're too young and they, they don't understand what the device is. Because these are they have to like they have to look at these locations like they're fucking alien ruins, basically. 
They have no idea how these areas worked. She collects coins. Got another one? Yep. Hey, uh, I know a good drinking game you can play with those. Maybe later. Okay, now it's time to actually think about how to leave this place, because I have not been doing that. And I am more uncertain than I'd like to be. But let's take a better look at the, by the cash register where the door would be. Oop. Hello. At least I'm finding stuff. Yeah, there's no tops to these. It's just walls you climb over. I climb you. The front gate's very enclosed. Hmm. The dog really likes Mel. Like he just wa he just walks around and stares at Mel. That does that's that's worth considering actually when I, when I'm decoding what I think is going to happen here. I mean, you leave people behind sometimes and come back for them, I guess, but... When I'm trying to think of where I'm supposed to go, I should probably consider the fact that we have a dog. Which can pare down our options. Unless he can just make this jump like a pro. Bob's dead ahead. No scars in sight. Well, they're out there. Yeah. Let's keep moving. Dogs do have hops. Yep, he's just here. <laughs> yeah, he could have he could have jumped on a car. Remember when we could pass through this area without getting jumped by scars? Getting nostalgic about the truce? Easier days, huh? Too easy. We let our guard down, and they strung up an entire squad. That was in retaliation to us shooting those kids. Okay, but those kids attacked our guys. What would you do? I don't know, not riddle them with bullets? I'd rather save our people. Maybe mm. they're kids. It's not their fault. Not our fault either. Those deaths are on them. Okay. Mmm, that's the thesis statement. That's the thesis statement of the entire video game. But it is very quiet out here. Keep checking those sight lines. Mel's over here being the author insert. Yeah, that's not. That's not incidental. That's a very intentional conversation. Need to be on the other side of this fence. Cut through one of the buildings. <sighs> Cause that worked out so well last time. Do you have another idea, Manny? Nope. Just venting. I still don't have. Oh, she's trying to get out of my way, but I'm like at the perfect angle to fuck with her AI. <sighs> Something's blocking the door. Maybe there's another way in. Can you make that jump? Are you gonna do a wall there. jump? Like a pro? Manny, see what's up there. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, Abby, you're fucking awesome. If, you, <laughs> if she's just gonna like run up the wall and jump at the rope or something. The cable's caught on something. If you can lower it a bit. Mel, stay with Alice. I'll try to get that door open. Find you two another way in. Cool. Be careful. You guys are technique down. Well, I definitely would have been trying to walk up the wall. Still no sign of scars. Maybe they gave up. You're funny. <laughs> no, I'm optimistic. Oh. 
Long way down. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's this again. Yep, they do a depth of field thing. Yep. Yep. He's afraid of heights. I remember that from the intro. Like, that's not just an incidental way the game expresses depth and height. He's, she specifically is bothered by this, which probably makes this seem taller than it is. I'm a little worried I'm gonna fall through the fucking floor. Right. Let's not just go jumping in. There we go. Glad to have okay, that Mel. behind you. We're in. I'm at the door. This reminds me of, well, a little bit of, <laughs> admittedly, uh, Captain America Civil War, but also just like various television shows I've watched where you get really Guys? involved in certain They're characters, and then they end up going at each other, and, you, and you're like, I, I don't want anyone to win this. Like various parts of Breaking Bad where, like, Hank is this character you really grow to like, but he's at odds with multiple characters that you also like, and you just don't want them to cross paths throughout the show. Okay, come on, quick. Yeah, sure. You're here. Whoa, check it out. Some kind of boat workshop. Let's remember this place. Command's always on the lookout for spare parts. Uh, boats are a plot point later. They're talking about an island, I think. They said nobody comes back from the island. I want to be the first to set foot on that beach. Could you imagine what we could accomplish? And nobody comes back from that island. Those are like some of the weird throwaway line, not throwaway, but like some of the strange lines we heard without context as, as Ellie, who did not give a shit what they were talking about. And so we did not investigate that further. But they're clearly, they're definitely foreshadowing this. Something felt wrong when I was nearing the end of Ellie's campaign. Or at least that stint of Ellie. I don't know how, if there's more Ellie or not, really. A scope. I'm generally all about that capacity. Something felt wrong when we were closing out that, that campaign. And it was definitely the fact that like they, they were just dangling threads that weren't getting resolved. And now I know why. So they were setting up an entire different character's point of view. Oops. The number one priority, besides bullet damage efficiency, is do not want to be reloading in the middle of a fight. Not that I have any ammo in the first place, but now I can hold more of my no ammo. I'm actually astonished that I have not found any ammo for like the last half an hour, seemingly. It's not a good time. Is it because everything is stripped around here? Is it too close to a large population center? Yeah, there's the paradox where every single character in this game is likable and horrible. Or they're capable of utterly horrible things. 
and then the game shows you them all do horrible, horrible things. And then also shows them in the most sympathetic lights possible. It's almost, it almost feels like some... It almost feels like an attempted, like... An attempt at making a game about pacifism via exposure therapy, essentially. Like, they, they're going in the complete opposite direction. The most, the most extreme version of just... Mass murder and mass violence while constantly reinforcing the tragedy of every single instance of violence. There's games that get flack for that on like like the spec up the lines kind of way where it's a spec ops the line sort of way where uh, game makes you do a bad thing and then they're like look what you did don't you feel bad for doing that but I think that's not always necessarily the point sometimes it is just the kid that the, the kid that the the character is the one that do it. And it's perhaps more that you're meant to judge how this is going for them, and so on. Oh, that boat is not going to sail. Not unless they can repair a hull. I'm not sure how they would. Half the shop door is moving. Sorry. You do okay? Yeah. Crank broke. What Shit. Now? Abby, look. A hatch. Man, you, you just hang tight. We're you, gonna find a way up to the roof. You were almost a Mel sandwich. Sorry. I, Glad you hitched a ride with us. Right. I said I Mel sandwich. You're I'm almost a, a Mel sandwich. I hate to hear you got in trouble and I couldn't help. Hey, why have you been avoiding me? I wasn't avoiding you. Come on, you've barely said anything to me since Jackson. I don't know, I... I guess I was shook by Jackson, too. You don't think Joel deserved what he got? I think he deserved worse. I just... I just wish I didn't take part in it. I get it. What kind of a person could do that, right? I'm not saying that. Let's see if there's a way to the hatch. All right. Hey, Mel. Let me boost you up here. See if there's something in that room. What? That seems like not okay. ideal. Here we Have your climb. No. Um. <laughs> Anything? Um, one sec. Having a few pregnancy questions right about now. What are you doing? Getting us out of here? Okay, just go slow. You're the one that boosted her up there. Being pregnant. Low center of gravity. I'll take your word for it. Oh, made it. I, none of that seemed great. Wait, what is she doing? Come on up. Thank you. What did she? Oops. Should have stayed put. <laughs> oh no, she just unlocked the door up here. So I was actually already going the right way. I thought she dropped something down. Okay, getting closer to the hatch. Let's see. 
Amazing how every building becomes a bizarre trap in this game. Oh, the ladder. We haven't done a ladder shimmy in this whole game. Remember ladders, you guys? I always dug the versatility ladders had in The Last of Us 1. Not like a massive deal or anything, but it was, I was just, it was, always seemed neat. How you could, oop. Like you, you, cause you could, is this, can I climb this ladder too? Or, yeah. It always seemed cool that you could use them to climb something, which was the obvious part. What but then you, you, you could also lay them down no flat. From here. I don't have this one. Having, having them back in, well, I guess I know how many collectible quarters there are in this game. <laughs> I don't know how many fictional cards there might be in another campaign, but I can pretty accurately guess how many uh, state quarters there are. <laughs> There's a few subtle hints from reality. Can I not climb down this thing? Nope, she's reacting to the heights again. Like, I, re I really dig this part of ladders. Kind of wowed me in 2013, even though it's kind of silly. That's what uh, that's what Naughty Dog's been good at is just kind of changing my understanding of how non-static sometimes environments can be. Mel, you're kind of in the way of the, the, the interaction here. Hey, smart. Like, there's an idea that a building or a location or whatever is like you know, like levels are static. Like, there's a level and it sits there, and move enemies and items and so on move around inside the level but then like that's the level itself is static and if the level deforms by having a wall explode or something that, that that's like that's like a big deal like red faction that's like that's, that's he's still trying to fix that thing up <laughs> yeah but he says he'll be done any day now any day now <laughs> everybody's got their obsession yeah like me and dog toys yep and me with my stupid coins. <laughs> but then you hit like Uncharted 2 or 3, I think. And like you're inside of a building while it's collapsing sideways. There's a catwalk running to the hatch. But how do we get to the catwalk? The flat floor becomes a diagonal floor and so this on. Is useful. Skill book. David versus Goliath. Guerrilla warfare. It's just one of those moments where you just realize, like, oh, I've been trained my whole life to think, like, a level doesn't move and doesn't change. And if it does, it's probably going to be masked by a cutscene or something. And that'll come back to essentially what was, what like, a swapped out version of a level in between. Because that's, like, just not how games are made. And that's not how they work. And then one day something comes out like that and you realize, wow, I didn't even know I was making this assumption about levels, but like this one thing kind of shattered my understanding of how games work a little bit. Just because things keep, keep advancing. Wow, you nailed it. <laughs> but like after watching level, like games be rel rel relatively static for so long, that's what messed with me more than any other part of the entirety of Uncharted was just seeing, like... It was just seeing something like that, like where you have the, um... Where am I gonna put this? She keeps going until she hits the end of the rope. It's a, it's a neat detail. You get close to the source, she gathers more of it up. Uh... Seeing a level deform around me was just like, what? You can do that? But the rules... I did it. Uh, so I want to get to that ladder, right? I may have missed the exact call out about where to go. can access the floor on that side. But if it did go over, but it's not going to be long enough? Okay. No. That's promising. Is it? 
is promising what you call what just happened. Kind of a disaster, isn't it? There's no way I can make that jump, right? Like, that's not... This, that's... No. Right? I make the rope longer? Fuck it. <laughs> I did it. Shit. Okay, um... <laughs> Maybe that part. Wait, I can't gather it now. I don't get it. I'm sorry, I don't get it. <laughs> They, can, they just confirmed that like that was good. How do I get to that rope ever? I can't climb this side because it was just—it's not secured. I can only hang off the other side. How do I get up to it? I can't like run over and jump to it, can I? Am I insane? Oh, thing I was literally just talking about. You fool. Will that reach it? Yeah. Nice. Good thinking. Yeah. We'll see. Oh, fuck it up. Hey. And snap. How did you? Especially when I look down. This pregnant woman has superpowers. 